and find out what you need to stop throwing in the trash and begin recycling. Plus, the Iowa City Bookmobile is ready to hit the ground running in 2018. And finally, these birds ring in the new year at new homes just weeks after being rescued. We have these stories and more coming right up on Iowa City Update. As we head into 2018, there are some changes coming to your waste and recycling services that you need to know about. New this year, corrugated cardboard can no longer be thrown in the trash or brought to the landfill. This product is easily recycled, yet a recent study showed that the landfill takes in more than 4,000 tons of cardboard each year. This new effort should help curb that problem. The waste reduction is one of our big goals at the Iowa City Landfill to really reduce the amount of materials going into the landfill and especially usable materials such as cardboard. If your curbside trash has cardboard in it, the carriers will not collect your garbage. At the landfill, workers will be spot checking loads that are being brought to the site. If there's cardboard in it, you will be charged double the regular rate. So remember, recycling cardboard can save you time, money, and the environment. The pricing structure for yard waste collection will change in 2018. Residents will no longer be required to purchase annual stickers or City of Iowa City yard waste bags. Instead, each curbside customer will be charged $2 on their monthly utility bill. People can use 20 to 35 gallon containers or any comparable paper bags for yard waste. The new year means another round of fun stops for the bookmobile. A new addition to the library last summer, this mobile service offers a wide selection of books and DVDs. The winter schedule, which starts back up on January 8th, is now available, so you can see when the bookmobile will be in your neighborhood. Just head to icpl.org slash bookmobile to follow along. Some recently rescued waterfowl celebrated the new year at new homes. In December, Iowa City Animal Services rescued over 200 chickens, ducks, geese, and pigeons as part of an animal welfare investigation. After putting out a call for help, our community showed an astounding response by donating food and supplies. And in just a few weeks, more than half of the birds have already been adopted. We have a farmer, we have ducks and geese and turkeys and peacocks and guineas and all kinds of stuff. And so we don't really need them, but they need a home. It's pretty easy because we have the space and my brother-in-law Tom is such a feathered friend person. I thought this is, this is a situation we can help at. There are still more birds that need homes, including two dozen roosters and more than 40 pigeons. You can call or email to get information about the application process. There was a previous need for bird food, but thanks to the generosity of our community, the Animal Center has received more than enough. We are truly grateful for all those who donated goods and opened their homes during this time of need. That's it for this week. If you like keeping up to speed on city projects, events, and information, you should be following us on social media. We provide daily updates on Facebook and Twitter to keep you in the know. We want to wish you a great start to the new year. We'll see you next week on Iowa City Update.